We're gonna work on this. on the raven the raven the raven the raven skyball last time we made these laundrons now we're gonna start triangulating this bad boy we gotta put a doodad in here we gotta put a thing here we gotta do them across and this way we got a lot of tubes to make we're gonna do tube tube tubes notching we're notching tubes tube notch we got the tubes here new materials new tubes old crappy tubes so first thing we're gonna do we're gonna make this tube here. We're gonna take this measurement here. Overestimate it and then cut it down to length. Then we're gonna take the angle, A squared plus B squared minus C squared, whatever that is. We're gonna figure out the angle. Out what this angle is gonna be. We're gonna cut it. We're gonna put it on the notcher. The notcher. Do it. Maybe 27 in height. Eh, okay, it's not gonna be 28. And that's what I cut it. So the other thing we need to do is find this angle. Put a clamp on the top, put a clamp on the bottom, Right there, so we're looking at about Notch tubes, tube notching. It's one of the important things when you're notching tubes is to make sure that all the tubes come through one common point in space inside of that tube cluster. When you have a cluster of tubes, the idea is the strength is created from multiple loads, tensions, being concentrated into one point so that they're reinforced by the other tubes that meet at that cluster. This goes for anything really with a tube cluster. Airplanes, race cars, roll bars, motorcycles, drag cars, Jeep, roll bars, chassis, anything really with a tube cluster. This is the principle. Did I get the point across? Are you following? Are you tracking? You smell what I'm stepping in? Are you picking up what I'm putting down? This is my pink pencil. Yes, it's a pink pencil, but it never goes missing because who wants to steal a pink pencil? Nobody wants a pink pencil. So you lay this thing around the shop. It's always right where I put it because nobody wants to take it. Nobody wants to be seen with a pink pencil. Genius. All right, we got a couple tubes notched. Now we're facing the dilemma. Two things in the same place at the same time. So we're gonna slice these pep peppies up. Got these two cut together. Grind these puppies down a little bit till they fit. Just right, like a glove. Look at that fit. Look at that fitment. Dunsky, one down. Many to go. All right, now we only got about uh, 15 more tubes to notch. Boom. Look at that. Man, you made it look easy, Austin. How did you do that? That was so fast. You are so good at notching the tubes. No, that took forever. I took a week, at least. I'm a part-timer, you know what I mean? I got a day job. I think it's all I have to say about tube notching. In conclusion, measure the length, measure the angle, notch the tube, take off the burrs, Touch it up with a file. Make sure all your tubes come to one point at the cluster. Some closing notes. The notcher I have isn't the greatest tube notcher. This is a pretty small project. If you're gonna do this a lot, get yourself a good tube notcher. If you're working on your project just on the weekends and you got bare metal, make sure you're wiping down the tubes with some kind of oil to prevent surface rust. Man, that sun is bright. <sighs> that about wraps it up. But before we go, it's time for just the tip of the week. You get in the corner of the house now? 
How you do you? Ooh, that's nice. Just like that. You get it in the corner just like that. What's that stuff called? Emery cloth. Emery cloth. 